Oh, we're sweet. Oh, we're, we're going. Right. Um, what are we saying? I don't know, but Clive's getting the clapper out. You got the clapper? Yeah. Get in the frame, though. I don't need to be in the frame. The, cla- the whole point is the clapper's in the frame. Nah, but... You're in the frame. <laughs> 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 Just dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, What's happening, guys? All right. As you can tell, the audio should be a little bit better in today's video because we've actually gone and got ourselves some mics and some other stupid shit to play with, as it seems. Yeah, so I don't know if you want to like make notes or some shit and then like just like No higher because it's not uh, in the frame. You basically got to be in front of my face. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening guys? Okay, welcome back to the next vlog. Hopefully you can tell there's a bit of a difference today because we've managed to sort out mics and some other stupid shit to play with. So hopefully this is gonna sound a lot clearer and a lot better. Today, I'm working on the front end. We are, we're getting close. We're getting very close now for the car ready to be run off to get the exhaust fitted. Once the exhaust is fitted, we can then send it off for a dyno run and get the engine fully set up. Because I bought my engine from California, it's, uh, it came to me mapped, ready for E85. And obviously we don't really have easy access to E85 ethanol in this country, so I have to get it set up for 99. Um, today though, I've got Audi Q7 six pot calipers we're gonna be mounting to the front because my adapters have turned up, the calipers are here next to me. I don't know if they're gonna fit. It's a little bit dubious. We had a little brief trial fit with them last week. It's not looking good, so we might have to slip a 10 mil spacer in, which is not great because the wheels clearly sit way too far out already. Other than that, You'll see we're going to be doing a few little jobs and I'll run you through it as we get to them during the video. Now, so looking at the front, obviously this is kind of flapping. This has been kind of mutilated. Um, we had a comment about this being a bit of a hack job. Um, we're not doing body work yet. All we are doing is cutting everything required to get the car to move because we can't do anything until the wheels are aligned, but I need to get my engine running. So basically all we're doing right now is removing any part of bodywork that is in the way to get this car on the floor and get it so it can achieve lock because no one's going to be happy if I bring a car to a shop and they can't turn the steering wheel lock to lock to get to manoeuvre it around when they're pushing it. Um, so I can assure you the bodywork will be fine when we actually start doing bodywork. I don't really want to do it in the rain anyway. As you can see we've got 370Z discs on the front. These clearly look fucked but they are actually brand new. Um, Let's take that off. Right, we have these custom adapters from Eximus Customs, which is a group you can find on Facebook. They do a lot of caliper brackets for a lot of cars. So we'll put a link down below if you want to hit them up, see what they got. They might have got something for you. So we got these, and we have some Audi Q7 18Z6 pots, which is what is going to be mounted on here. So the next job you're gonna see me doing, I'm gonna figure out which one goes on this side, and then hopefully we're gonna get this on, get the disc on, get the caliper on, and then it's the moment of truth and we'll see if the wheel actually goes back on. I'm not confident, but we have a variety of spaces, so there's a good chance this thing's about to get wider.
Right. Calipers mounted nearly. Just got to trim a little bit more out of the hub. Um, I wasn't aware I had to trim the hub, but uh, it feels fine. I'm, you know, it, it still seems to have a lot of meat on it. I don't see it being an issue. The caliper is on, the wheel is on. There is no spacer on this wheel. And we seem to have clearance. The ticking noise, I have no idea. I'll investigate that later. But I'm not sure if Happy's gonna be able to film this to show you just how close this all is, but um, I can guarantee you it's pretty damn tight. So I would say we're going to have to hit this with maybe a three mil spacer because when this caliper has been powder coated, you're going to gain a couple of mil. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably have to stick a very small spacer on the back of this, but I am very happy with that. Obviously where he's just giving you a close up, you can see the paint flaking on these plates, which I've had to use. Um, that is simply because they're steel plates. Um, there was a issue with my wheels basically. I basically rattle canned them and that's why they're flaking. It's got nothing to do with the milk wheel manufacturer. It's not a problem. The wheels eventually will be refinished before we finish this build. Um, so where you see perhaps rust appearing, it's got nothing to do with the wheels. It's simply because these plates were just rattle canned to make them black because I had to fit them. Simple as that. But I am over the moon that my calipers actually fit on this car. So all that's left, we're gonna do flexies from the caliper back to the servo, which is here. We're just gonna, I'm not gonna hard pipe it at all because we're smoothing them out of the bay. We're just gonna flexi all the way from the servo straight into the caliper. So hopefully that's a job today that I will get to measure because I've got to do this, I've got to get flexies for the rear because we've mounted the original four pots onto the rear. So I've got to get flexies from the hard line down to that caliper. And uh, then that is the braking system back together. So we're now gonna crack on, gonna get this, um, I'm a bolt in and then we're gonna do the other side. Uh, yeah, and that is Audi 18Z Q7 front calipers on a 370Z disc on a 350Z. A few moments later. Are we actually rolling? Yeah, we have rolling ages. As you saw, front calipers work. They actually fit. So either later today, tomorrow, I'm gonna to try and get measurements done. What I'll do, you see, to run, to check for the lengths of the flexes I need, I'll probably try and get some uh, plastic tubing or something so I can physically run a feed, take it out and measure the actual length. So I can get my flexes pretty much bang on so I haven't got loads of you know steel lines just hanging around inside the uh, where the servo is i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far obviously none of us really know what we're doing so a lot of this we're just making up as we go along so i'm quite pleased the brakes have worked out quite well if there's anything you guys want to know about what we're up to about some of the cars drop it in the comments below i'm sure we'll answer your questions either there on the comments or we'll bring them up on the next video